how much does a custom club fitting actually affect your performance? We're here at the Ping European Performance Center to see how much I can gain if I have a fully fit driver compared to one just off the rack. Okay, we're with Paul Reimer at Ping. We're going from stock to fitted. Can you explain what we're starting with? Yeah, so we're just gonna start with a G430 Max head, 10 and a half degrees, just an um, Alt CB stiff shaft. Just pretty basic standard setup if you like. See oh. how I get on with a non-fitted what... club and then how much we can dial it in mm -hmm. afterwards. So shot pattern wise, what what's normal? Uh, well, that neat. was a bit healy, so that wasn't normal. Yeah, so pretty neutral in general, or do you like yeah, to move it around a bit? I'm, my miss is left. Right, okay. <laughs> we don't okay. like it going left. My path uh, gets more path left. was actually one and a half right face was four closed, but it's come right out of the heel. Yeah, it was heel. How long is this? 45 and three quarters, so standard length. It's launching high, that isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you had to duck down yeah, to, to duck see down where that's Yeah, yeah, launch that at nearly nineteen degrees. So you, you know, your tack angle's positive. Interesting. Only spun. It spun just under three. So just hit us one more then, and then we're what we're going to do. We're going to find out how efficient that is, and then kind of start looking at changing a few things. If you're enjoying the video, or even if you're not. Just make sure you hit that subscribe button to help us make more really good content for you in the future. Right, let's go back to it. <laughs> so one one thing we tend to find a lot of a lot of golfers do is, you know, they'll go on eBay and buy a driver and then start putting new grips on them, plugging different shafts into the head, and suddenly it kind of throws a whole balance of that golf club out. So one real important part of what we do now is we'll, we'll probably swing weight somebody's driver when they walk in. And that can give us a lot of clues as to why they're hitting bad shots. So that's something we'll we'll do as well as actually look at the swing weight and kind of see if we can dial you in there as well. Not my bad shots. Yeah, well, that swing might just be the right. reason why. Right, okay. So obviously kind of from a fitting point of view, we definitely want to tighten this dispersion up. Do um, I always? Yeah, get your, get you a lot tighter in there. And then we're looking at ball speed, launch, spin, obviously distance. You know, your tack angle is still going to be what you do, but we know from your attack angle and your ball speed where we should be here. And everybody can be different with launch and spin as well. Um, so we're just going to kind of pop you onto this launch efficiency app and we're going to work out how efficient that is like and what we would need to do depth. differently. Right, so we're going to put your ball speed in there. So 140, launch it at 14, spin it at almost just under 3.2, tack angle 2 up, and your spin axis. So spin axis is basically how much that ball's tilting left to right. Um, it's just how um, Trapman measured, measured side spin, if you like. So you've got five degrees of right spin axis on there. Doesn't feel ideal, that, does it? Five, not too bad, yeah. You won't want it starting to creep. Once it starts creeping up to do double digits, where it, it can get a little bit extreme. So at the minute, we're 90.2% efficient. So not bad, but we can hopefully get you dialed in a little bit better. So the gray area is your ideal kind of window to launch that ball, okay? Um, it works a little bit like the eye pink putting up that you saw this morning. So green's really good. This kind of orangey color is okay. Um, red could be better. Um, so we want to try and get this into green. So this is what you currently do with that driver. So you launch at 14, spin at 3.2. Based on your ball speed and your attack angle, this is your ideal. So actually your launch isn't a million miles yeah. away, but we My definitely spin. want to get the spin down. Now, if we did that, your potential gain could be another 13 yards. If we reduce that um, spin axis, um, two of those yards could be reduced, gaining two yards could be reduced by reducing that spin axis. So what it'll do as well, it'll give you a few fit nuggets so you can evaluate impact location. So we knew mm -hmm. that one or two of those strikes were a little bit healy. And we could also consider you using a lower spinning head to get the spin down. So it'll, it'll, the good thing with that, it'll give you a few little fitting yeah. nuggets to help you along the way. Right, okay. So what we're going to do then is let's do that. So I guess the easiest way to get spin down is, is loft, is, is changing loft. So let's... Just keep the shaft for now. Come down to a nine degree. 
Let's see what that does for us. When you're trying to reduce spin, but keep the launch angle, how do you do that? Yeah, so I think your launch angle is going to be really kind of more with you. If you if you maintain your attack angle, it'll come from that. It'll still come from that. So if the loft can, if we can bring the spin down using loft, that might also help. But we've got this bit of a left to right yeah. broad. So it could be that going a little bit firmer in the shaft can bring a bit of that spin down as well. Because a little bit of your spin is going to come from that spin axis. Mm -hmm. um, so there's going to be a little bit of, as fitting always is, it's trial and error. It's always trial and error. So it, it might be, well, we get the loft down and it brings your spin down, but actually it starts to increase your dispersion. Yeah. So we might actually be better kind of going back to the same loft as this, but in a different head and looking more at that. So, so there's a few things we're going to try. Uh, keep an open mind. So let's see what happens. So, right, so that's swinging roughly round about D5, there or thereabouts. So ne nearly standard kind of swing weight. So again, that might be one of those little fitting nuggets that as we go along, if we kind of change the swing weight a little bit, go a little bit lighter, will it help the one that wants to go right without obviously getting you doing the shot that you don't like and going left. So there's there's lots of little things. It's just not one thing. I, it's always like, to me, it's like spinning plates. You get you get your spin right, and then you need to change the, the something else to kind of get that dispersion tighter. So let's just do the basic stuff and come down in um, loft and see what that does for us. What loft you one that you play generally? What's your gamer? Uh, that's the 10 and a half, but Is lofted it? down. Yeah. So we could even do that. So again, if you kind of, if we want to get your, your spin down, we could go 10 and a half down to nine and a half. We know it's going to open the face a little, so it might help the one that goes a little left at times as well. So we, we could even do that. Right, okay. So let's just come down in loft then. Let's see what this does. So same shaft, just nine degrees. And it was... Shot. That was a good shot. That, that felt faster. Ball speed. Yeah. Yeah. It was compared to the previous one. So that's definitely brought that flight down. Yeah. That was not a center strike. Right. So if you come, yeah. <laughs> so the downside of coming down in loft, so look what happens now, look. So we come down in loft and suddenly this ball starts to spin less. Yeah. But we start seeing this happen where that dispersion can get a little wider. So ball speed is very similar. 139 to 38. Launch is very similar. It's brought your spin down. Carry similar. You're going to get run out because you're creating less spin. But the downside is it's getting bigger. Yeah. So we obviously don't want that. So what we're going to do then is go back to 10 and a half, but change that head to a 10K. Okay. And actually give you probably something that will play just a little firmer than that. Just to try and tighten this up a yep. little bit as well, I think. So what's the difference in shafts here? So we're going to go a little, little heavier in, in the shaft. Still cow balance, but it's just a little stronger, a little bit stiffer tip. Um, so I just want to see if that helps kind of tighten that left to right bias up. Yeah. And this will play a little similar to the one that you've got in your bag, which cow balance as well. I see that, I missed that. The launch is back up, wasn't it? Yeah, launch is still good. You're still launching it around that 14 degrees. This is like Can't, a blind test because I didn't see Yeah, that, that was straight. That was it really felt, good. It felt nice, but I never saw yeah. it. Yeah, that was nice and straight. So obviously the advantage with like 10K drivers is that you can afford to kind of not necessarily hit it bang out the middle, but we should see that dispersion tighten right up. Where did that go? Just launched it a little high. And that's kind of almost... Yeah, what, what you don't mind seeing almost, like good, bad shots. So not your best strike, but you know, you still got it out there. And you're still very tight in that dispersion. Yeah, shot. Shot. How's that feel? Good. Because that's important. You know, it's not just looking at data, it's, it's kind of looking at this and how something's going to feel. So what we're going to do then, now we know we've got your spin nearer to where we feel you should be, we're just going to put that back in that launch efficiency app and see if that, that changes anything. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> well, see what it tells us. We're not going to be a million miles away from that, I think.
Oh. There you go. <laughs> Not bad. So that's efficient. <laughs> Perfect. This is a great fit. This is a great fit. Yeah, absolutely. So there you go. It did just tell. It says evaluate impact location. Check yeah. the T-highs too. That's what I did on the last shot. I just went to a lower T-high. Did fit. you? Yeah. Yeah. I do normally use those like pink T-high ones just because the mats. Yeah. Just because the mats a bit fluffier. Like, than yeah, grass, exactly. It yeah. makes it play a bit taller. That, that's right. You did right there. So, so there you go. So slightly stronger shaft than we started with. Um, similar lock, but just give you a 10k head because we know that, you know, I would say for better players who've got a bit of speed that don't always hit the middle, it's a really good driver for, <laughs> for that type of player as well as somebody that's quite inconsistent. Yeah. You know, um, we're finding it, it really fits both types of players really, really well. well. Well, I feel like with driver, like, I just want to know where it's going. Yeah. Because like, there's no good having distance if you're like punching it out every shot. <laughs> exactly. This is what you want. I need to get my blades out <laughs> and hit it close from well, the fairway. Should we do a strokes gain with that then? Right, so we'll go gamer and then we're going to go 10K. So we're going to put your driver distance into that first one. 245. So your distance actually has gone up marginally. And then side, 10 feet. That's a fairway finder, isn't it? Yeah. Right, there you go. So strokes gain is just under three, three strokes potential. So you're going to gain a fraction for your distance, but a big lump of that is just yeah. having that really what tight grouping. So there you go. Jesus. So if you total up what you're going to gain with your irons, total up what you're going to gain with a driver. Yeah. I'm going to LPGA. LPGA. How long till I'm on a side? Yeah, we'll get you up on there. <laughs> <laughs> put, a, put a pink cap on you. you you're <laughs> up there for life. You get one of the big ones up the top. 100% <laughs> optimised. Exactly. You're on it. Three shots around. If you want your handicap to get three shots better, you need to go and get a proper fit in. Absolutely. Yeah, we did that in three moves as well. So it doesn't, it shouldn't take long. If, you, if you're efficient like you are and, and you kind of, you know, you're pretty much consistent with how you deliver loft, it, sh it shouldn't really be too difficult to get really dialed in. But it's amazing how many people still don't think a fitting is gonna suit them or benefit them. Especially when they're still buying the club. Especially when they're still buying the golf club, yeah. Like, just get it dialed in. Yeah, absolutely.